your pillow form, your cutting tool, your marking tool, your fabric. And let's talk about this pattern. I drew this out based on the measurements of my pillow form. Let's see, my pillow form is measure 16 times 16. So I add one inch to all the size to make this square measure 17 times 17. And for the back of the pillow, I have this rectangle that's measure 17 um, times 23. And then I just fold it in half and cut it so we can form the envelope for the back. Now, this fabric, my grandmother gave me a bunch of vintage uh, fabrics and I have this small piece of linen. Um, I think that it's going to be really nice with the uh, pillow that I'm making today because look at the edge that's fraying. I'm going to use it to my advantage. And uh, I'm really hoping that it's going to be enough for my pillow. And let's not forget Mui. We're going to need some pins for this project. Next, I'm going to use the pattern that I talked to you about to mark the fabrics and cut out the pieces that we need before sewing. To make the designs on the pillow as I showed you, um, we're going to need to have two pieces of the front um, panel. So that means we're going to need two instead of one 17 by 17 um, square. I'm going to take the two front panels, put them right on top of each other. I will pin around to keep them together. And next, I'm going to mark diagonal lines um, one inch apart from each other. And it should look like this. Then, I'll take it to my sewing machine and run a straight stitch on each of the lines that I marked. Here it is. I just finished sewing. So um, I used the same colors thread so you can't really see it. But the next step I'm going to use my scissors and cut in between those sewing lines. So this is probably going to take a while. So I'm going to skip forward and come back in a little bit. Okay? Oh, and be very careful to cut only the top part, not to cut through the entire double layer of it. Okay, I'm back, and um, it actually took a while, and I just figured out that you can't watch TV while cutting. It's starting to look pretty cool, and what I also did was to pull on these edges to help the fabric fray a little more. And I should point out that because these lines are diagonal, not really on the line of the fibers of the fabric, so they won't fray to the point where you will completely lose um, the fabric. So I'm just pulling to create some wavy texture. Um, and I just also thinking that if you were to make these two layers from two different types of fabrics, it's going to be even cooler to have a different color peeking through um, these wavy lines on the top. But um, I do like it a lot the way it's turning out already. So you can see here I'm just making it um, as rough looking as I like it to be. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep peeking at it, sitting on the couch, holding it in my lap or something. But um, you get the idea. So here we have the front panel facing up and I'm putting the two back panels on top, pretty face facing each other. Um, and I hem one side of each of the back panels by the way. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sew around to form my pillowcase. And we're basically done sewing the pillow. I am just going to turn it inside out. and. Um, I just really love how it feels. It feels really nice and cozy. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff my pillow form into the pillowcase. It fits really nicely. I really love how it turns out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you try it, please share. Thank you for watching.